Good day grade tens. Welcome to this last lesson on algebra and algebraic expressions for revision week 12. Um, in this lesson we're going to be just looking at the sum and difference of two cubes. Now this grade tens is a rule you have to have to learn unfortunately. If you don't learn this you won't be able to solve the sum and difference of two cubes but it's pretty easy. Okay if you see two numbers that are cubed and they're either separated by plus or minus then you can realize that you're doing the sum or the difference of two cubes and then it's very easy because they follow the same pattern. They always if this is a plus, then this first bracket is going to be a plus b, and if this is a minus, the bracket is going to be a minus b, and then it's always a squared, a b, and b squared, and the last sign is always a plus, but then whatever this sign is, that trinomial has the opposite sign in front of the middle term. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples. It says that 27 cubed minus 64, sorry, that's just supposed to be 27 minus 64 y cubed. 27 minus 64 y cubed. So if we follow the pattern, the first thing you do is you find the cube root of 27, which is 3. You carry the minus. The cube root of 64 is 4. And then the cube root of y cubed is y. Then you square the first term, so you've got 3 squared, I'm going to do it slowly, then you do the opposite sign, so it becomes a plus, then you multiply these two together, so it becomes 3 times 4y, and then you always have a plus, and then whatever this term is squared, so it becomes 4y all squared. So you've got 3 minus 4y, then it becomes 3 squared is 9, plus 3 times 4 is 12y, plus 4 times 4 is 16y squared. Now obviously you don't have to do it slowly like this, you can go straight into it, which is what we're going to do in the next thing. Except that if you look at this, this looks a bit scary because 2 is not a perfect cube and 16 isn't a perfect cube. So what you need to do is realize that whenever you're factorizing, you always, always, always look for common factors first. So we're going to take out a common factor of 2 and you're left with x cubed plus 8y to the 9 and that there is the, diff is the sum of 2 cubes. So now we can do it further and we're going to do 2 and we're just going to follow the rules. It becomes the cube root of the first one, which is x, plus the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of y to the 9, what do we do? We divide by 3, so that becomes 3. Then, square the first, that's so x squared. Swap the signs, so that's minus. Multiply these together, so it's 2xy cubed, always a plus, and then square the last. So 2 squared is 4, y to the 6. And there you go. That's how easy it is to do the sum and difference of two cubes. So please go practice and please just learn. NB, NB, NB. I can't stress enough. Learn. You'll be using this all the way through to matrix. So please go learn this. Have a great day.